What's up, everybody? John Fro, AKA Crypto Dreams, coming at you with a brand new episode. Today, we're looking at Farmers Community. Farmers Community is a project that is being developed on Polygon. I am gonna be giving you a basic overview of the project and talk about everything you need to know to get started. If you like the content on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. All right, let's dive right in. So here is the Farmers Community website. We're gonna take a brief look over it. We're also gonna take a look at their white paper. But let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's see what Farmers Community is all about. So collect, gather the resources you need to enjoy this interactive farm game even more. Maintain your farm, seed your plots, harvest your crops, grow fruit, feed animals, and get your farm going. Meet people, explore the farms of others in the community, and get to know or help each other. Earn by playing. The more you play, the higher your rank will be. The top 100 players will earn FCT. So it's important to note that this game is still in alpha, it's very much still in development. It is very early in this game, but you will earn as of now by playing and being in the top 100 and getting dropped FCT. So you can earn tokens in that manner. There will be many other ways to earn in the future, but for now it is just the beginning of the project and a lot is still up and coming. So let's farm. Farmers Community is a fun and relaxing farm simulator game where you own your farm and play to earn FCT tokens. Early access, only available for pass holders. Mint your pass and start playing and earning right away in this crypto NFT farming game. Mint price 25 Matic. Goes up in price every 100 mints. So now it is early and you can mint one for 25 Matic. Just click mint right here and it's gonna take you to the screen and then boom, you can mint. So we're about halfway to 100. So the price is still reasonable. It is very, very early in this game. They have a trailer you could check out. Buy your farming needs, plots. There are many NFTs available on the Polygon blockchain. Each NFT can be used in game and provide boosts. So if you click here, it's gonna take you to the shop where you can grab yourself plots and you have to get these in FCT. You can buy animals, buildings, decorations, avatars, and worlds. That is something that is still up and coming, but there's a lot you can grab already and you can use all of these in the game right now. We will be taking a look at that soon. But let's go ahead and jump back here. Meet people, join your neighbor and help with tasks on the farm while getting more points. After all, it's more fun when you play together. So this is a big part of the game. Again, we'll be looking at that here soon. We've got the team here. They are a five person team and they are passionate about this game. They are constantly developing and making improvements on the game every single month. I recommend joining their Discord and their Twitter as well. So once you have your access pass, you can download the launcher by hitting play now and it's gonna download your launcher there. You will need to link up to the Polygon network. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. They also have a very well put together white paper where you can get a lot more information. A lot of this we already went over on their website, their early access dragons, a lot of their NFTs that you can use in the game. Gameplay, we are gonna take a look at that directly in the game as well as the neighbors. Vulnerable 
objects. So FTC, that is their official token. You can get the contract in here if you need. They also have a liquidity pool set up as well and a treasury. Here is their roadmap right here. So we are currently in Q4 of 2022 where they will be creating member accounts, advertisement accounts, custom playable characters, custom farming environment, early game trailer for promotion, private token sale round and release of early alpha. So some of this is live and some of it is not. So they have already accomplished a lot here. FCT token contract is live. Website minting with FCT is live. So a lot of this is live. Neighbor mechanics, store mechanics. So there's a bunch of this that's live, but still quite a bit that is being developed. Here are their tokenomics. Liquidity, 60%. Farm charity. Team, 15%. Marketing, 10%. So you can take a deeper look into all of this. Just click on their white paper on the website and boom, it will take you there. But let's go ahead and dive right into the game and see how everything works. So when you first start up the launcher, you're gonna see this screen and there's gonna be a QR code that you need to scan with your phone. You have to use your phone. I use MetaMask on my phone and I'm connected to Polygon. I scanned the code and it connected me directly to the network and I'm good to go. I don't have to do it again. Anytime I wanna play, this screen pops up, press any key and then here we are. So farmers community, we have play game, visit neighbor, options, credits, exit. My wallet is connected. I got my username. So I've already set up everything and I am good to go to jump into the game. All you're gonna do is hit play game. So before the game even launches, they're telling you that there's gonna be bugs. This game is still in development. This is only alpha. So there are bugs, but overall it runs quite well and it looks pretty great already. So for being alpha, pretty great game. So this is me, this is my farm. We look down there, we could see some of my plots and my windmill. I have some crops that are ready to be harvested. So let's go ahead and head on down to my farm. So when you first get a farm, it will not look like this. It's gonna look more like this. You have to clear away space in order to get all your plots down and all of your buildings. And this is done by earning FCT and then using it to take away all of the debris that is on your land. So all of this land here can be cleared and my farm can grow dramatically by doing so. So if we click here, you can see that there's a weed and you can pay 10 to clear it. So I'll go ahead and pay 10 and there, I got a weed gone. Some of these are much more expensive than 10. Like a rock over here is 150. A boulder, I should say, is 150 FCT. I'm not gonna clear that one yet. I'm just clearing out the ones that are right in my area. So one thing to know about this is that you can call on a neighbor and they might come and help you. Peckham from the crypto punk community came and cleared a bunch of my debris for me to get me started. So he would likely help you if you gave him a shout out in the crypto punk discord. You can also give me a shout out and I will help clear some of your debris as well. I'm gonna be continuing to build my farm and growing it 
and we'll be giving you guys updates in future videos with this game. But this is my farm. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at how some of this works together. So I have planted these crops right here. These are onions. I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting. You're just gonna click on all of them. And as you can see with the yellow on the bottom, it says my inventory is almost full. You're only gonna be able to fit a certain amount of onions in your inventory and then you're gonna be full so now it's red and my inventory is full so how you continue to earn fcts you're gonna want to go to shopping this big balloon it's on everybody's land this is where you go to sell your crops and to buy other things as well so we want to talk to becky here she is the balloon shop owner so i have 25 onions right here and i could sell one or sell them all so i'm gonna go ahead and hit sell all so if we look right here we're gonna see my tokens i have 674 fct to begin you're gonna want to start off with wheat you can't get onions until you are level two you will start with wheat and once you sell you now have tokens. You can head back to your plots and you can plant again. Plus, I can also harvest all of my onions now because my inventory is now empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all these and get them out of there. Sometimes you gotta click around to get these to harvest. There we go. So I got them all. Also, another important thing to note is here is my well. A well, you have a watering can up in the corner there next to your star. And you can see that I have 20. I just got that 20 by clicking on the well. Well will accelerate your crops. They will grow faster, but you can't do it every crop that you plant. You can only do it every so often but if we look on the bottom right of the screen you're going to see an r a b a delete and an f so by hitting b it's going to show you what you can purchase and what you are holding so if we look down here on st i have another water well windmills and a storage barn that I need to place. I'm waiting till I clear my land to place those, but you can buy chickens and a lot of other things in here, but you have to unlock your levels to get a lot of these as well as your seeds. So I am currently only at level two, so I can only get onions. Soon I'll be at a level three where I can start grabbing carrots as you move up levels, the time will increase. So we're gonna go ahead and plant a little bit of wheat just to show you. So wheat, I'm gonna plant a few of those. You plant it just by left clicking after you have selected it. Close that. Now, if we click on the wheat, you can see in the bottom left that it takes 10 minutes for my wheat to grow and then I can harvest it. So wheat has a very quick growing period. These higher levels increase in growing period, but you will get more FTC when you sell them. So once you get up to the high levels like the corn, these go upwards to I think three hours before you can harvest, but you're gonna get a lot more FCT. So. Then you have cabbage seeds at level nine. These actually grow quick and they're cheap. So I think these are gonna give you big time profits when you get up that high. But I'm gonna go ahead and do some onions here. These are what I just harvested. I'm gonna plant on all of my plots here. 
fill everything up. So I have plenty of FCT. You will only be able to plant as much as you have. So I started out real slow. When you first start the game, you will automatically begin with 100 FCT to get you started. But then you will have to start planting your crops in order to accumulate more FCT so you can begin to expand your farm. So jumping back in here, you can see that my wheat is now ready to harvest. I'm gonna show you how my windmill works and what that is used for. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some wheat, harvest some of that. So I have already used my windmill earlier. I'm gonna click on it. In your windmill, you can process wheat and turn it into flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my flour. So I just grabbed flour and now I'm gonna process some wheat into more flour. So boom, there go, there it goes. My windmill is now working. Working hard there. You can see it, it's going strong. So you will use flour in the future for some new upgrades that are coming to the game. Right now, I don't believe it is used for anything yet, but I know that updates are coming very soon for flour and its usage. So a windmill is gonna be what you need to make yourself flour. You will have to plant wheat, and then you will in turn use the windmill to grind it into flour. We can see right here that my onions want some water. So I'm gonna water them all. So that, that will pop up periodically. It's not every time you plant a crop. It's only after you, I believe that you have harvested a certain amount already and then you can begin to use it. You can see my water can in the top left is now at a zero. This is when you'll come to your well and now it is refilled back to 20. So that's where a well is needed so you can get your water. And then now everything is watered. Ah, look at that. So one thing that they're running right now, you see that guy over there? That is a ghost. This is an event that is live. So the more of these guys you can find, the more tickets you get that enters you into a raffle. So uh, I got them. So each one of those that I find is a ticket. So very cool that they have that event going live right now. Great to see that happening with the game and in the community. All right, so next thing we are gonna look at is fishing. If we look right over here, we can see that there is water. So there's my farm, there's the shop, my crops. There's the sign right here welcoming you. And over here is a little pond. And you can see across that pond is the fisherman. So this is a part of the game. And it's pretty important at the beginning. You will build up experience and you can also earn FCT. So in order to fish, you're gonna wanna hit F. Then what you're gonna do is just cast out by left clicking, you can see the bobber out there. And eventually you're gonna get a bite. When you get a bite from a fish, only left click once. So I just left clicked it there. You're gonna see that circle that's closing and it starts vibrating. And then you click again, it's gonna do it again. It's gonna start vibrating and shaking, click again. I just caught me a trout. You can see in the left that it's a 9.4 kilogram trout. So you can do this 
all day long if you would like. So again, hit F, left click, it's gonna cast out. And then your bobbers just sitting out there. You don't wanna start clicking until you get a bite. Otherwise, it's going to reel back in and you will have nothing. You have to cast out and you have to wait. Boom, I got a bite. I left clicked only once. If you left click twice, you will reel in and you will get nothing. Once it starts doing that, you left click once again. When it does it again right here, I am going to left click. And alrighty, I got me a bright red snapper. So caught two fish. Once you catch some fish, and again, you can do that all day if you want. So once you get yourself some fish, you head over to the fisherman and she is going to buy your fish. So you can see that I have a trout that I could sell for one FCT. And then I have a snapper that I'm gonna sell for two. And then if you catch some of these harder ones up here, like if you get an angler fish, you're gonna get 500 FCT. I personally have never caught an angler fish or a shark, but I'm sure you can get one. So that's a great way to get you earning and a great way to get yourself experience. And yeah, just be sure you don't go click happy. You want to throw out and wait till those fish start biting. All right, so now we are gonna take a look at visiting a neighbor. So you're just gonna click here and then any players that are active at the moment, their address is gonna show up here. So I'm gonna be visiting Peckham. He is a long time active member of the crypto punk community. So big shout out to him. He showed me a bunch of stuff with this game and what I needed to do to get started. As you can see, his farm is massive we are gonna take a look at it here but you can visit anybody's farm like this as long as they are active and they are playing so he's put a lot of work into this place and you can see that it's got chickens and a bunch of other stuff happening here huge farm mine is just in the beginning stages so this is a very cool feature to the game and it allows players to interact with each other and help each other. Peckham helped to clear my land. So very, very cool that he did that. But yep, very cool feature to the game. And it is a big part of how the game is going to work. Well, there it is. That's Farmer's Community. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you have a question or a comment, drop it below. We'd love to hear from you. I left links to everything I've talked about in this episode in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you're feeling this content. You all have a great day. I'm out of here. Drop music.